What's up, everyone? This episode is going to be absolutely hilarious. I am going to play a massive joke on my dad and spray paint uh, his entire side of the truck. I found this fake spray paint that literally just washes off. And uh, my dad, he is like the ultimate prankster. He, he's, since I've been a kid, always pranking people. And I have never been able to get him because he knows, like, he knows if someone's getting him. So what I'm going to do is hide some cameras. Uh, the only person that is going to know about what's about to happen is my buddy that's a sheriff. So he's in on it. Um, I could almost guarantee my dad's going to call the cops after this happens. The reason why I think he's going to call the cops is we're currently in a legal battle with someone that uh, rented out one of our bays in our garage. And when they were leaving, they decided to not lift the door up all the way, which I'll show you in these photos. And they literally ripped the whole door off with their motorhome. Didn't want to pay for it. Didn't want to do anything. And so we're in a legal battle. So that's why I think that this uh, prank is going to work great because what we put on the side of the truck is going to have to deal with those certain people. Quick little story. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, my dad's neighbor, decided it'd be funny to bring an outhouse and put it in front of my dad's house. Well, my dad woke me up at 5.30 a.m., grabbed the forklift, we forklifted the um, outhouse over to the neighbor's house that left it there, and my dad went as far as uh, taking his forklift, ripping out his mailbox, replacing the outhouse where the mailbox used to go, and then shoving the mailbox uh, actually inside of the outhouse. So the point is, my dad doesn't take jokes lightly, so this is gonna, I'm, I mean, this is gonna be intense. The only other person that knows is my buddy Matt, and uh, that's gonna be the next shot right now. He is actually gonna be the one painting the truck as I pick my dad up and go get a coffee. All right, so Brad called me, said, hey, you want in on a prank? She's like, always. So he said, hey, I got some spray paint. You gotta spray paint my dad's truck. All right, here we go. Yeah, the weather here is so weird compared to California. I like it. What do you want to do today? We got a lot of crap to do today. A lot. Brad, what'd you get me into? Better not come back and haunt me. You got to be friggin' kidding me. What in the heck? What there ain't that, no what friggin' does that way. Say? What does that say? It's a friggin' asshole with the door. He freaking painted my freaking truck? You got to freaking put paint on the oh truck? Oh my god. You think that was the door guy? Well, who else would it be? Oh my god. You need to call the cops. I'm freaking calling the cops. This is fun. You don't just. Should he's the one who did the whole freaking door. It had nothing to do with me. Yeah. He just spray painted my door. It says your door. We go on. Uh, we had we had someone uh, a vandalized. No, I did. That's all right now. This guy's going too freaking far. I swear. I can. Is there any way that they literally spray painted the truck? My name is Brad Birdie. Tell me, I know exactly who it is. Okay. This is like elementary, freaking high school bullshit. I mean, like no, how, how how low could you be? How low could you uh, be? Cop say? He's gonna be here you in about 15 minutes. You might be able to get away with this in California. You ain't getting away with it. Well, can't we look back on the cameras and stuff too? Oh, yeah. I guarantee you, what a dumbass. That camera right there. I guarantee you. I mean, realistically, we could probably get it off. It doesn't matter if we could get it off, Brad. If you don't go f put sh on someone's truck, carburetor cleaner will probably take it off. 
but you don't destroy someone's property because you're mad because you freaking were a stupid, dumb, c dick brain idiot. <laughs> It's not even funny, Brad. No, I, I no, know. You leave sorry. the door down and you drive your motorhome out and rip the thing off and it's our fault? Yeah, that's my fault. So let's spray paint the truck. Oh my gosh. Let's spray this tenant. This is the door that he uh, bent up. For me, it's like, if you have a problem, I mean, obviously they, these guys just don't care, but if you have a problem, just why don't you just come talk to us? This guy thinks he can get away. I, I will not let up on this. He ain't seen sh Yeah. That's... That's bad. How's it going? Oh, yeah. We, we're we pretty sure we know. I know who the freaking guy is. Yeah, so we have a, we rented a, uh, we rent out these bays, yeah. and you see how this one's all dented up? Yeah. So the person ran his motorhome through that, and we're currently in a lawsuit with them right now. Over a $4,000 bill. Over that. Because okay. yeah. they're, they're yeah, trying to say. Yeah, we got cameras, and we had cameras when before he even hit the door, and we had cameras showing him running through the frigate, the whole door fell off. Is there any other access points behind here? No. Did you have this shit happen? That's, so that's going to be a difficult, unless you got them on camera trying to figure out how to prove who it is. I haven't had anything else like this today. I mean, usually when we get vandalisms, we get them kind of right in a row, right down through, and we haven't gotten anything. So if I give you his name and address, can you go talk to him? Or we, What we'll do is we will put him as a possible suspect and the investigators will go and try and talk to him and and then he's got to admit it which he won't it's one of those things if you don't have him on camera actually physically doing it you have to try and get him to admit it you got to be able to have proof that he actually sprayed it is he still a tenant here oh okay does he still have stuff here no no has he ever been trespassed from you like I, through law enforcement. I don't know. I have the only way know. that we would know, did you, how did, did he just move out or was He's he? He's been here for like seven years. I'm gonna do the initial report on it and then my investigators will probably get a hold of you later on and they'll come pull the security footage and do all that type of stuff. But I'll do the initial report. I'm gonna document this, take some pictures, pictures of entrances and all that type of stuff. Do you have your ID on you? Hmm? Do you have your ID on you? Just so we can put you... This is incredible. The sheriff's here. My dad's tripping. <laughs> I know we're not going to do that, but that's how my brain... It's thinking, it's thinking, okay. I've given myself a complete headache. Seriously? At this point, even like he's saying, how are you going to, unless he's like, hey, you can't, you can't prove shit. But this is just the start. This is where stuff keeps going. Keeps going and going and going. We're going to clean it off. Yeah, we're going to clean it off. I don't think I want to drive around town for I can understand. We get a lot of kids and stuff doing stupid stuff all the time. That's this is an adult. At 8 30 you the truck was here and 11 30 or 11 15 ish is when you noticed it yeah, yeah right right time. before i called the yeah i'll have to look back on my phone on exact time but I've, yeah i've got timestamps. oh yeah you? when you call in at time stamps oh, okay so like i said i'm gonna do the initial report and then the investigators are gonna come in and they're gonna start doing as far as canvassing the area we're not only gonna they won't only check this camera they're gonna start checking cameras up and down see cars coming in cars coming out reports should be available this afternoon and then you can insurance company or however you want to do it well i got it we're going to clean it off yeah we're going to have to clean it i don't think i want to drive around town people aren't going to understand no. kind of changes our day oh at this point i just got to get it off i'm going to get the car 
for the report, don't we have to leave it like that? You'll probably be fine to drive it like that for a little bit. How about you drive the truck and I'll drive your truck? There's nothing he can do. There's zero. Well, what's the point of him even coming out? All right, what are you going to do right now? Because I'm going to wash it off. Oh, hopefully it washes off before he gets out of here. <laughs> oh, shoot. I hope this washes off. This better wash off. Oh, shoot. It's not really going on. Oh, God. Dude, it ain't coming off too well, boys. <laughs> Some parts are. He's gonna come out and be like, what? <laughs> huh? What are you doing? <laughs> well, it's supposed to just wash off. You freaking gotta be. <laughs> it's washable spray paint. Did you play a joke on that? <laughs> Gosh, don't do that. That, Look at how that, that comes off. That made my head pop. I got you. Literally, my day is made. My day is made right now, dude. <laughs> Did I get you finally? Did I finally get you? Was that copying on that? Oh, you're gonna friggin', you friggin' ass. <laughs> what was your show back in the day, punked? This is kinda like that. I got you so good. I have an edit. That was good. You <laughs> Oh my gosh. You guys, I finally, finally, got my dad i had to stay as serious as possible man this stuff it comes right off i was kind of nervous when i was uh who painted my truck uh i had matt come paint it oh so matt's involved yes you tell matt he's gonna freaking pay like a big dog should you seriously call the attorney so he didn't send all that stuff to that guy you're gonna pay dad i'm being serious yeah i am too what is that i had matt put it back here Isn't that awesome? It's just like, it's washable chalk. Spray it on there. Spray it on there. No, I can't do that. You that was freaking good, Dad. You heated my head. My head's still heated. So would you say I got you, Dad? Did you film that? Oh, yeah. I filmed the whole time on my phone. I even had a camera inside the car. You are going to. You already know what happens. But you got me? He's still talking. It, it ain't over, Robert. All right. Well, that was an incredible, fun episode. Completely different than anything we've ever done. I finally got my dad, and I feel so oh my God, you got good me shaking. about I'm it. I'm freaking shaking. I feel so good about it. Hey, maybe you should stop that and call the attorney. There's nothing he can do. Not send all the photos? No. Uh, you told me to wait and tell me what the cop report said. Oh, you're going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you God. are going to freaking pay, Jackson. All right, I'll let my dad keep watching. You guys have a blessed day. I feel glorious. Today, my day is set. I hope you guys had a great time watching this because I had an incredible time.